Here we are. What up? <laughs> what up? What up? <laughs> you just sounded like you came home like stoned one night. Yeah, it's like a little rough, friends. right? Yeah. <laughs> what up? Yeah. The what? weather of New York's kind of been getting to me, just fair warning. It's getting to everybody. It's been yeah. raining for like five days or some shit. Yeah. Like, and it's supposed to rain tomorrow, I too think. Mm-hmm. I, I think too. But um, I don't know. Sunshine's coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining us today. Um, it's going to be a shorter episode today, but we just want to keep you up to date on Jump Street, whatever's going on in the next sure. few months and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're going to – first, I want to thank uh, – we have new Patreon uh, sponsors this month. Uh, Hunter Rosenberg, and this isn't even a name. It's just PRRS Art. So thank you, you two, for supporting our Patreon. And everyone else who supports us, thank you so much. It's going to yeah. go towards a good cause, uh, as you've been seeing and will see in the future. Uh, we also have – uh, I, forgot, I meant to show you the WTF, but we have a WTF. It's really WTF. Uh, oh, nice. Well, we get to watch it together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So this one, I have no idea what homie's name is. It's really WTF. It's really, yeah. I don't, yeah. It's really WTF. I have no idea what homie's name is. Um, damn. I don't have the Instagram account name, too. It's like Asukura Skate. I think it's some Japanese guys. But It sounds like a good enunciation. <laughs> I'll check this out. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said it's a real WTF of the week. Oh yeah. <laughs> these these people I've been following them for a while. <laughs> Did he Dude. land one or no he didn't land it? That's no. all he does. I don't know one. I don't know what that account's about. I've been following him for like a year or something like mm. that. Seems but fun. this this kid just does stupid <laughs> shit like that and uh I don't know. I just saw that one. I was like, that's the one. We have to just do something with that. Yeah, it seems good. So but they always comment with Ken Chen, which I don't know what the hell that means. Yeah. So shout out Ken Chen. Ken for, Chen? Yeah, K A N C H A N. So right. shout out Ken Chen shout for Ken Chen. this week's WTF. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta switch it up once in a while. You have to. You gotta switch it up. You have to. Um, so we, we don't have any sponsors this week, but I uh, do wanna shout out because we are doing a giveaway. And I do wanna shout out Eos. If you haven't seen it already, it is a, let me see if I could, that should be good. Um, uh, VOD slash magazine by Mike Torres and Christian Delfino. Uh, it was filmed after their winter class trip last uh, this year. Um, absolutely incredible. Yeah. Did you see the actual yeah. magazine? It's sick. And uh, I like this. It's very different too. This little like mini magazine on the outside and then you get to like the real deal. It's like the intro mm-hmm. and then sick. the meat in the middle. But it's really sick. And this is like high quality stuff too. It's nice to have these tangible goods and all this stuff. Put uh, a coffee table. You yeah, know? definitely. Good coffee table book. Uh, shot all by Christian Delfino. Uh, Mike McMullen did the design for it. Mm-hmm. Um, the VOD itself is shot by Mike Torres. And we're going to be giving away one of these. Uh, what do you think? Just like if someone just repost, like repost uh, maybe your favorite episode from Jump Street. Oh, that'd be and cool. And just hashtag Jump Street Podcast. Um, don't do it on the story, though. Do it on like a regular post because the story is going to go away. Okay. So just post your favorite episode, either you watching it or, or whatever, a screenshot or something. Uh, tag Jump Street Podcast, and then when the time is right, we will pick a and winner. Tag AOS too, or uh, I don't know if they have a, a hashtag. I guess AOS VOD maybe. I don't know. I should have checked if they had it. I told. I asked Christian to give me the details. Well, no, he, I, I asked Christian to give me the details. Shoot. He gave me whatever. I just told you. Not so. Cool. But awesome. we're giving one of these away. These are really sick to have, and it's one of. There's uh, only 300 made. Cool. So it's collectible. Very cool. It's a very co- wow. cool collectible. So we'll be giving one of those out. It's uh, U.S. only also, by the way, because okay. it's going to cost us like an arm and a leg to ship somewhere yeah. else. So U.S. only. Just post your favorite episode and tag us. Cool. Yep. Very Amazing. cool. And if you want to purchase it too, go to aosvod.com mm-hmm. to purchase the VOD and slash or the magazine. It's amazing. Support these guys. It's cool to see uh, all these people putting in all this effort to, you know, things like this that we get to hold on to. Yeah. You know. Totally. So definitely support them. Word. Yeah. What so, else have we got? Straight into it? Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I got little stupid things, but nothing like really crazy. But we mainly want to update everybody on what's going on with Jump Street Podcast mm-hmm. and what will be happening, I guess, the next few months. Uh, do you want to start mm-hmm. it off? It's sure. More, yeah. your, more your thing than my thing. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be moving to California. Like I made a post about it on uh, Instagram. I've been playing mm-hmm. it for a while. Mm-hmm. I came out to New York with my girlfriend. We stayed out here for a while and then we decided to go back. She's been back already there for a while. Mm-hmm. But uh, during my time out here, we kind of just started, we started, we were skating together like once a week and we were drumming. Yeah, yeah. And then we started Jump Street, mm-hmm. you know? And I think when we started, we were like, oh, we're not sure what we had no idea become what was, or yeah. evolve into. There were, wasn't much of a plan. Mm-hmm. It was kind of just like, oh, let's, you know, try to have a fun show. Yeah. Have a show 
that I don't think Blading really had like a video. Yeah, not like I that. Mean, so yeah, I know not, there are podcasts. Yeah, nothing like, yeah, really nothing like that. Ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think there was any like yeah. live video mm-hmm. ones. So right. we're just like, oh, let's try to do it like that. Mm-hmm. You know, like Joe Rogan or all just ideas. Yeah, string along. Like we I, honestly, I remember the first time we did it. We we're like, if like no one, if we just like, all hate on the first one, we're just never doing it again. Right. <laughs> and we're like, people why like not? So we just, just yeah, kept going. Try it. Okay. Uh-huh. So yeah, so we were doing it and. So it's built to this point, and and now I'm leaving, and we're like, oh well, we don't want Jump Street to end. We want Jump Street to live on. Mm-hmm. And so, like anything, like things in life, you know, it's going to evolve. Mm-hmm. And I think we're gonna we're gonna do it in a way where we go to places like, for example, we're gonna be going to Pow Wow. Mm-hmm. We go to Pow Wow. We stay a little before, stay a little after. Plan trips, plan podcasts with pros who are mm-hmm. there and people of interest who we want to have on the podcast, mm-hmm. and then release that like accordingly yeah. as it goes down like we still have a, a few episodes we filmed that yeah. haven't come out from, yeah. from blade cup so that's yeah. like forever's watching live they're coming out don't worry so we've already <laughs> been kind of doing yeah that. like we we've been doing it is it. kind of what we have been doing we've it's been just, doing that at winter clash you know we've been doing yeah, that in like woodward, Philly, yeah woodward stuff like that, so, yeah. So, so it's basically what we've been doing for a while shy of like these episodes mm-hmm. like, we've you know? turned into like a traveling podcast almost I, yeah maybe like half the episodes that we shot this past season have been traveling maybe more who knows yeah. i don't know i, didn't I mean add it up but yeah it just seems Blading to be cup, the way yeah blading cup winter clash uh woodward we went to philly like we did a lot well it just also seems to be the way to get more guests too yeah because we're so limited in new york yeah. in a way because during the winter especially like this time of year no one's coming to new york right. anymore and there's a ton of skaters in new york but we don't mm. want to have an all new york yeah. podcast yeah. right that's not the idea mm. And you know we could we could do a ton of people in New York, but you wouldn't want to exactly yeah. like just have it all yeah. New York. So mm-hmm. so for that, like it offers a lot of possibilities. So I think the travel aspect it's been working cool. out really well. I think yeah, like you said, it just opens up the doors. So many other people. There's always different people, especially when there's different parts of the country. Like uh, say like if we go to Pow Wow coming up, there's mm-hmm. gonna be like a whole different crowd there than maybe that would have been at Bleeding Cup or totally. Winter Clash, something like that. Mm-hmm. So it opens up the doors that way too. And also like uh, I honestly don't think it's gonna change much. Mm-hmm. Like as t- to like the audience because yeah. I'm I come back even when I lived in Cali before I was here two three yeah times you were here a year. all the time yeah I always come back two three times and I don't a mind year. taking a trip out to L A yeah, too. yeah I, I go out there like I was there twice this year too uh, I don't mind going yeah out you there get a I'm busy season you yeah. know and then when you get some time off I know yeah. you like to get to Cali yeah, too yeah. so like we'll yeah. get out there mm-hmm. maybe we'll film some stuff mm-hmm. people when it gets a little cold here it slows down yeah you know I, I always try to get out of here when it gets cold I'm going to Puerto Rico yeah we're planning our Puerto Rico trip John just hit me up with that today yeah no I was I was pissed you weren't coming. That's why Miguel it's, put the group chat in, and then you're like, no, I was like, no, yeah. he's not coming. Well, I know you got a lot on your plate right now. No, anyway. well, yeah, I'm trying to start building some stuff out there. You know, yeah. you can't get you got a lot to do. Stop it, going it, on it, vacations. Yeah, you know? I mean, that's like when you moved to New York too. It was like you were really it was rough in the beginning. You have to yeah. like settle in and get everything together. A lot of transitioning. Yeah, yeah, it's a hard part about doing it. So yeah, because yeah, a lot of people were like, oh, is the podcast over? And were people like, like comment? I didn't like see any like comments or anything. Well, no, or... even before that, like when I was telling people like friends that I was like moving mm-hmm. over here, mm-hmm. like, uh, it's or... like one of the first questions people yeah. ask. <laughs> yeah. Some people are like, what about the podcast? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. What about the podcast? Yeah. But, um, yeah. So the podcast is going to go on. We're ton... going to live on. There's a ton of stuff. <laughs> yeah. There's a ton of stuff that I've been like really wanting to do too. So mm-hmm. like, it's going to be like more focus and yeah. So like also it'll like, help us clean stuff up too. And, and this, like, and this helps every week. And it helps too to have like the audience interact with us with mm-hmm. like, who they want on yeah so we could be really mm-hmm. efficient with our time mm-hmm. and like who so we could be more direct so yeah it lets us know who's going to be in the area like oh we got to do these people first because so many people have been asking about them stuff like that yeah totally mm-hmm. so yeah just like everyone who's been helping with the patreon who's been helping us get places before we appreciate yeah, that, it that, it that helps us stuff's move. definitely going to be put to use now yeah, because totally. now we're traveling so we're just going to be doing like pretty much bulk episode bulk uh like marathons i guess we say yeah. we were doing like two like one two three days of just filming shit wherever mm-hmm. we travel totally. put them out throughout the next like few weeks or months and then by that time we'll be somewhere else hopefully by that time when Bashi gets out of jail I'm gonna fly back like the, the literally Ooh, the day yeah. he, he gets out and we can mm-hmm. just like do him like the second day he's yeah. out on hell the yeah. podcast hell yeah That'd, that'd be, be sick. that'd be crazy. Yeah, I've been wanting to do that one mm-hmm. for a while. We tried a few times. I don't know if anyone knows that. We tried a couple of times. Yeah, we were gonna try <laughs> to do Bashi over the phone on on the podcast. Yeah, we tried like twice, but it. Yeah, it was it was it, hard it, for him to find. The yeah, it's right hard to schedule. I would imagine it being hard to schedule time yeah. where he is. You know. Yeah, it was kind of when he has his moments, he could do it. So it was, it was tough, but yeah. Now we'll just get like the first off the bat, like. Mm-hmm. Because that'll be interesting. There's a lot into that. And he got a mm-hmm. lot of support from a lot of people. Yeah. A lot of mm-hmm. things with the BPSO. Yeah. So it's cool. I know. It'll be cool to hear from him. I'm sure a lot of people like to hear from him too. Yeah. People, I mean, if you're like a newer person, you probably know him more from just his contest than anything else. <laughs> yeah. Because he's been going on for a little digging, years. you know. You yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You got to do some digging. Totally. Yeah. Um, 
So we hope everyone gets like the full, you know, comprehends everything that's going on. And we, like we said, we have a couple more episodes from the Blaney Cup putting up. Uh, we saw the Dylan episode too, Dave Payne. Yeah, that one's sick. The Dylan Cooper. Yeah, Dylan one's sick. Yeah. And, uh, Dave Payne too. That one's epic. I know. I know. So much. There's so much yeah. good stuff coming up too. Mm-hmm. And then we'll take a little break for a little bit and then season four will start, start up March. again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, have you been watching any like videos that have been coming out lately? Like, I know you've been busy with the past like week or two. No. Did you? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just wanted I to. I want to, though. Yeah, I just. Because Mushroom Blading just put out their Mushroom Blading 7. I don't know if you saw anything. I mean, I've out. obviously seen AOS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A- a- AOS um, and the Hit It Wet, too. What, did you see the Hit It Wet? I haven't seen I, Hit it you, wet. you weren't at the premiere for that mm-hmm. one? I oh, that that one was sick, too. It was funny. Uh, at, at the Blading Cup, Torres, because, you know, they premiered AOS on Friday night, I think, and then Hit It Wet was after the contest on Saturday. And he was like. Torres told me on Saturday night, he's like, I was so happy they did, that we did AOS the first night and hit it with this night because it was so much more of an appropriate vibe. Like, AOS, like, really sick, refined. I, I'm not going to, like, say, I don't say anything in a bad way, but, like, really nice, like, perfected skating, right. you know, in, like, nice areas with, like, these beautiful spots and stuff right. like that in Spain, like, you know, yeah. like an exotic area. Right. And then, like, hit it with. It's just, like, bam, like, hard bangers. Like, yeah. and it was a completely different vibe from you know AOS. So. well you'd expect that yeah ex- exactly and it's and, called hit it wet yeah <laughs> you know? i love watching those guys skate too it was uh you got to see that like that yeah, type that, of skating is right up your sick. alley so no i love that crew yeah it's right up your that alley too sick. yeah it was a lot of like hard street skating and it's good to see people still skating like really hard like that doing these hammers and yeah. shit because there was a lot of that type of skating in there Dude, and, I want to get yeah, I want to get Taylor on the podcast. One hell of these yeah, days. that'd be real sick. That'd be tight. I know I keep following uh, JSF Instagram story. Like ESG always has, uh, like every weekend they're going out skating, yeah. and it's and like dude, we gotta get Beef Free on. That's where we have so much to that. do. Yeah. yeah, we have so much. Every time Beef Free goes somewhere, he's there for like two days, and that's it, and he's out. Like when he was in New York, I was like, "Yo, what are you doing tomorrow?" And he's like, "I leave in the morning, man." <laughs> like, Did you see he just went to Africa? Yeah, that, we, we gotta West. talk to him about all that shit. It's just crazy. Yeah, that's probably so sick. I know, crazy. Wow. Dom stuck out like a sore thumb. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he did. <laughs> um, but yeah, de- definitely. Yeah, hell yeah. Definitely, I bet to some degree, degree, all the Americans stuck out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some degree, yeah. But yeah. like, I saw like just straight from what I saw on like, Instagram stories, which is like yeah. pictures of them. Yeah, and totally. you'd be like, all of them like together with the guys and like it's just Dom in the middle. That's so funny. <laughs> um, but on the complete opposite spectrum of like Hit It Wet and stuff like that, right. uh, the Mushroom Blading 7 video came out. And when I went skating last week, we went to uh, Second Nature Skate Park. Mm-hmm. And everyone was like, oh, we just saw Mushroom Blading 7, whatever. I was like, how was it? And all these guys were just like, it was like one of the best videos ever. And I was like, I don't not expect that. But like, I just wanted to see it for myself, you know? Yeah. But I finally saw it the other day. And I, I would love to see like you watching that. Because the skating is obviously like the Mushroom Blading style skating. But it was just like, so like, it just always gets taken to another level. Wow. And it's just like so extreme now and it, it was just i think it was just the two guys joey and damn todd from mushroom blading i thought it was gonna be like all the guys like leon in there and danny beer but no, it's just like a 20 minute half hour video that's just these two guys just fucking shit up the whole time Whoa. and it's, it's really fucking cool um a lot of the stuff coming from somebody like me i don't get it still <laughs> but right. if I, like in my opinion if you took like the best like 15 to 20 clips from that whole thing and just made like a two minute edit it would be fucking such a fire fucking video in my yeah. opinion personally but there was just so much really cool skating in that thing you think that it's, like, you think it's spread too thin it just depends on what your taste is yeah. in skating you know not that i don't like it i just like i don't understand it still yeah. and it's one of those things I, I think maybe you have to do it to appreciate it more and i've right. tried wizard skating i just need like i need like lessons or something they're, to rocking, figure the, it out. they're rocking the wizards yeah, a lot, like a lot of it's like wizard wizard skating, like all the swivelly yeah. kind of weird shit. Um, they do like aggressive skating stuff, like they yeah. skate regular aggressive skates. But um, a lot of like those wizard blading moves, I think you have to really try for yourself to appreciate how hard that type of skating yeah, is. Yeah, that's a fact. And a lot of people haven't tried it yet still. Yeah. So maybe that's like a lot of people who are just like, ah, they just like shoo it away and whatever. But um, it's, it's really fucking cool. And like I said, cool. there was a, a lot of tricks in there where I was like, whoa! Like, I legit, like, screamed at my fucking monitor. Yeah, like, holy shit. Out. Yeah, it's really fucking cool. Everyone should check that shit out. Yeah, they uh, always have some next level stuff going on. And they've always been doing stuff, like, through over the years, like, Mushroom Blading, just in general. Like, they've been around for a while. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, everyone should support people like that, too. Like, we were saying with the Eos DVD, like, shit at, like, Torres and 
Christian going out there working, doing yeah. stuff, putting together like quality videos and magazines and stuff. Same thing with Joey and Todd. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Like they've been putting out. They're on Marshall Blading Seven. They made they did six that's others. Almost, I was surprised. <laughs> that's like the new seven. video groove. Yeah. That's probably like wow seven. Unless there's some like hidden chicks. I know like Leon told us they did uh, Big Wheels Five, but they skipped four because it was the five wheel frame that came out i don't know some weird shit like that unless there's something like that's happening which uh, i don't know hilarious. about hilarious like if you name like a third video seven or something yeah like yeah it's like how like uh, no, I would imagine apple did with the iphone seven. they've been around forever yeah so that's what i'm saying like there probably is I, i've seen a couple of them before but yeah i don't, I don't think i've seen six of them mm-hmm. but really good i suggest anybody uh out there to watch something like that um <laughs> The uh, I, I posted on the Jump Street uh, Instagram story also, I think yesterday, mm-hmm. that Complex posted uh, blading yeah, twice. Saw you saw like that other the video. I, I, I'm just going to play while we talk about it because for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, yeah. uh, the homie's name is Jack Tierney. And I'm just going to play it here. Yeah, while he was, that was kind of cool. Because the clip itself is really cool before like the ending, you know? Like yeah. it's just like someone skating around, skating to Pete Rock. And Pete Rock actually posted this too. Did you know that? Oh no! Pete Rock himself posted this. Really, which is really cool. Yeah, and um, that's sick. But that's twice this month that Complex posted skating, and it was funny because uh, I know we didn't post it yet. Well, if you're watching live, we haven't posted it yet. But um, Dylan was talking about Dylan Cooper on his episode was talking about how he's Complex looking real cool right here. You that's know? what I'm saying. Like he's just he's cruising. Looking extra wavy, especially this. <laughs> he's looking extra wavy. <laughs> this is that's huge. Like the fact that he just caught that. I'm, I'm just like the. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so anybody who's listening and not watching, go to, um, uh, what's his name, Jack Tierney on Instagram or Complex on Instagram. Boom. <laughs> what an ender. And it's been getting shared around a lot. I had to show it twice. It's getting shared around a lot lately, so chances are you have seen it. Yeah. But um, He looks fine, though. I'm sure he was chilling. He probably got like a bruised yeah. tip or something. Maybe not nothing that big. Yeah. Um, but that's twice. Getting car door is not cool. No, I don't no. know. I never had it done. I never seen someone yeah. on skates. It's like a biking thing. Yeah. Have you been doored before? Twice. Twice? Yeah. You got knocked off? Yeah. Yeah. It hurts. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's us twice this month at Complex, like a like an account like that has posted bleeding because they did the backflip from Homie at the Feast. Mm-hmm. They posted that clip too. And that was like, it's two different ends of the spectrum. Um, like one was like a crazy fucking backflip and you're like, oh, I respect that because that's fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. And then this is just like, I think this would be cool to get people on skates because this is kind of what we saw in the 90s to get us skating. Totally. It's just cruising the streets, sketching cars, yeah. skating really fast, weaving in and out of shit, even though he got rocked at the yeah. end. Even though he got Pete rocked at the end. <laughs> he, he, it still looks cool and I think like stuff like that is really, really awesome to see. Like just skating looking good yeah. into the public is is good enough to get people like back on blades or on blades in the first place. Do you know what I was I was thinking when I saw that? Like other than like how cool it looked, I was like, "Oh man, like that Insta 360 thing, there's really a lot of potential with blading." I want one so bad. Because like that <clears throat> right there, I was like, "You could do so much." Yeah cool like mm-hmm. like think about like gnarly sf hill bombing or like yeah in manhattan like yeah. in like crazy times square traffic it would be like, sick at night to go through times square with something like, like that 360 camera flying around fast like, so right that like i want to see people do more of that yeah like that's, that's like the, i, I want to get the one. potential behind it of like the locations and things you can do mm-hmm. like yeah that's yeah, get one, dude. I know. I got to ask, I'll, I'll ask Hanukkah Harry for one. Yeah, ask Hanukkah <laughs> Harry. Dude, it's coming out. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you better hurry up. I've been wanting one for so long, but it, it feels like it's does one. Does Hanukkah Harry do email now? Has it, or is it just still letters? Nah, he, he, he does, you is know, just letters? Yeah, letters. Yeah. Because you better hurry it up then. Yeah. It's the, I, 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 don't even, I don't even have my Hanukkah bush yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I've been wanting a 360 camera for so, like, years. And yeah. then I think the reason why I haven't bought one is because. I feel like it's cool for like one or two things and that's it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, is it worth spending a few hundred dollars for just one or two things and that's it? Yeah. Um, but I feel like it, like just from watching videos like that, like I that. think when you use it more, you get more ideas yeah. to use it more then you utilize it better. So I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll spring seen, for it. I'm sorry not to cut you off, but no. I've seen Nick do some cool things Yeah, too. Nick, he's been posting a lot of cool like shit. Him, him and Danny yeah, him skating and Danny, around in Barcelona. He did one, Danny did one where he jumped in like this like circle. Yeah, yeah, I saw and that. And that looked so sick. Yeah. But there's tons of stuff. Like you just like, hunt out spots for that thing it'd be cool to cruise around like a really contest cool. with that like imagine doing a line through winter clash with the 360 camera like yeah. a like a pov actual real pov view with like the whole crowd around you and shit all how sick would that be stuff. There's all someone's gotta do stuff. that winter clash this year if it's not me it's gonna be someone else who's gonna invent the hands-free insta 360 <laughs> which just floats around it's maybe attached to your helmet <laughs> and it's like a loop 
I'm sure there's something like that out there. Or just if it, it floats and it follows you, it has like the freaking the buzzers on. The buzzers? Like you know, like uh, <laughs> what's the thing called that you film with? Like the it goes up like a drone. Drone. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's like a drone, but it like keeps a good follow, distance yeah, yeah. from you. Yeah. Yeah. Safe enough. It's gonna happen. Yeah. That's, that's that's like in two years. Technology is getting crazy. It's happening fast. I know. The, the, all those 360 videos are awesome. A full 360, they are. a full they 360 really like are. video would be fucking dope. Like yeah. a VOD all filmed on 360 camera. There's, that's all stuff really that's like, and and that's why I think like it, the blading things because like that makes it look really cool. Yeah, it does. So I think that could really mm-hmm. help with like blading, scape, like all like mm-hmm. kind of wheel stuff. And he wouldn't be able to film that any other way. No. Even if he had a regular GoPro, I'm sure something would have been caught out of frame or he would have got knocked over yeah. or something like that or the camera would have got knocked out. It's crazy. That was, uh, really, that was really well done too. Yeah. Well, uh, Lomax actually reposted that and he was like, cheers to this man. He like yeah. didn't drop the camera. His headphones didn't fall off. Yeah. He sits right down. <laughs> like so sick. Um, yeah, that, that, that was awesome though. No, you're not dropping that camera after you yeah, I don't know, it but you get, if though. you get doored, you, get doored yeah. <laughs> you could just let go of everything. Nah, that's against the blade code, man. Yeah, it's like uh, when yeah. filmers when they fall filming, they always like have the camera up that's, in the air. That's the code. I man. know. Like yeah. you would, you would hurt yourself before dropping the camera. That's it, man. I know. You heal. I mean, I know firsthand doing that shit oh, too. I, I, yeah, <laughs> so you too. Yeah, yeah, definitely same thing. Totally. I was actually watching an old video of us. Um, somebody like, oh, somebody posted be unique checkmate and i was like oh i haven't seen this in a long time so i scrubbed through it mm-hmm. and of course like i watched my part because so i was like oh, right. i forgot i had clips in here and stuff but like the ender in my part was you filming me i don't remember if you remember like rail city in like downtown you were filming me doing a line and it ends with me 540ing a double set and you were like running the whole time after me and you fell but you like left the recording and then you're just like on the floor with the camera and like fuck yeah <laughs> that's like a prime thing because if you didn't sh- if it's it didn't like show you your up feet, the stairs like you went like yeah, up yeah the remember stairs, that and like yeah. under like the thing yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you jumped up the stairs yeah, filming me. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's fucking crazy. That. Yeah, we had a lot of It weird. was like the max amount of stairs you could jump yeah, with a camera. Like, that's, that's the, the level that it was. It was like seven or something. It's pretty <laughs> athletic, all that, like, filming sometimes. You're filming lines. Yeah, yeah. Like, all those filmers are... I know. And serious, got some seriously good cardio. Mm-hmm. I remember Ivan used to always be like... Uh, I think Isaac from Eulogy used to send him wheels all the time. And I was like, oh, he's, he said that he, like, films more than he's been skating at the time. And he was like, I need wheels more than ever, though, because filming, I use up my wheels more, like, yeah. whether stopping. it's, like, stopping, yeah, yeah. like, like T-stopping yeah. for, for shit. Um, a lot goes into filming. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. There's a lot to it. There is a lot to it. Um, like we said, we were going to keep it, like, a kind of short episode. It was more of, like, an informative right. one. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to let the people know or talk about no. before we... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not really, but we're just going to keep it going. And We, we just, are going like, to keep it going. I just want to say anyone who's got into it, because like you said, we started with this thing with no expectations, mm-hmm. but people who mm-hmm. really enjoy it and like it, and that's cool. And like, now we're just moving on to another phase yeah. of Jump Street. No, it's really but cool. But Jump Street's still here. And like we said, uh, we definitely appreciate all like the... Yeah. All our supporters, everyone buys like gear from the shop, uh, all of our Patreon supporters, all the donations, all that stuff. Uh, 100% now is definitely going to be going towards a good cause because we're doing a lot more traveling in the next year and yeah. stuff like that. And keep us posted. Tell us who you want to see on yeah, the show. We, yeah, that stuff definitely helps too with yeah. you know where we go. Absolutely. Right. We hope to see you guys down at Pow Wow. Mm-hmm. Again, uh, if you don't, follow us on all of our social media platforms. Mm-hmm. That's uh, Instagram. Give us a like on Facebook. Go to our YouTube account. Hit a uh, subscribe mm-hmm. notification bell so you get a bing. Mm-hmm. The thing goes. <laughs> so you get a bing. Um, Go to our Patreon uh, if you uh, want to support our work. And uh, iTunes, give us a five-star rating, give us a review, mm-hmm. give us a listen. Yeah, that's about it. Hell yeah. Um, Thank and you. And don't forget to repost you watching yeah. a screenshot or whatever. You're watching your favorite episode. Uh, tag Jump Street Podcast and hashtag uh, AOS VOD also. And we're going to pick one domestic winner for a copy of the AOS magazine. Cool. All right. Shout out everyone who's watching right now. And peace. We'll catch you. Peace. We'll catch you around four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 2020. Later. Later.